This is a great question for getting to grips with tangents and normals of parabolas. Okay, so it's from the JE main June 2022 shift one. And we'll go through all the details in a minute, but basically they're talking about the normal uh, and uh, the tangent and the directrix. And what we need to do is we need to work out the coordinate of point Q. And we'll get back to this in a minute. But first of all, what I want to do is uh, find the equation of the tangent and the normal for a parabola. Um, I tend to find uh, personally that I don't need to remember them. I just work them out whenever I need them. So let's let this point here be the general formula, at squared 2at uh, of a right opening um, parabola. And uh, here we have the tangent and here we have the normal at this point p, wherever that point is, whatever. Okay, and we need to work out what the tangent is. So um, what we're going to do is we'll do it two ways. So uh, x equals at squared. So we could differentiate with respect uh, to t, i.e. dx dt equals 2at and y equals 2at. So differentiating that would give us dy, d, uh, sorry, dy dt equals 2a and then dy dx would equal dy dt over dx dt, which is 2a over 2at, which is 1 over t. That's differentiating parametrically if we want to we can just do the y squared equals 4ax and uh, differentiate by implicit differentiation 2y dy dx equals 4a i.e dy dx equals 4a over 2y and we know that y is 2at so that gives us 1 over t either way we get 1 over t and we know that the xy coordinates are 80 squared 2at so therefore the equation of the tangent is y minus uh y minus 2at which is y1 equals the tan uh, tangent the gradient sorry x minus at squared and that simplifies to be ty equals x plus at squared where um, that's the tangent and now what we can do is we can work out the equation of the normal quite simply because if the tangent has a gradient of 1 over t then the normal has a gradient of minus t and so the normal will be y minus 2at equals minus t times x minus at squared i.e. y equals minus tx add 2at add at cubed and that is the equation I'm sorry that is the equation of the normal uh, again you can remember them if you want to but uh, remember you'd have to remember for a right opening and a left opening and an upwards and a downwards personally I find it much easier just to differentiate and um, and then find the equation from there okay so now let's go back uh, to our uh, the question in hand um, and I've uh, redrawn it here source uh, Desmos thank you very much um, okay, so the normal, this is what the question says, the normal at point P on the parabola y squared equals 6x, so we know that it's um, y squared equals 6x, um, and it passes through the point 5 minus 8. Okay, well, because y squared equals 6x and y squared is 4ax, we therefore know that a equals 3 over 2, and so therefore we know that the focus of this thing is at 3 over 2, zero and we also know that the directrix which is this blue line is at the point x uh, sorry the line x equals minus three over two we can get all of that from uh, this equation here okay so we know what the the focus is now we can work out the equation of the normal just using the formula that we've just uh, done so the normal is um y equals minus tx add 2at add at cubed. We just worked that out and we know what a is now. Uh, so we can have y equals minus tx add 2 times 3 over 2t add 3 over 2t cubed. And all of that simplifies to be 2y equals minus 2tx add 6t add 3t squared. And we know that it passes through the point 5 minus 8 so we can plonk those in and that gives us minus 16 we're just plonking the coordinates uh, that we know the normal goes through into here minus 16 equals minus 10 t add 6 t add 3 t cubed or 3 t cubed which implies that 3 t cubed 
minus 4t add 16 equals 0. Now we need to solve this for t. Normally we can solve it by inspection and indeed we can solve it by inspection here. t equals minus 2. But if you can't solve it by uh, inspection, and but normally you can, but if you can't, we could. What we could do is we could uh, we can um, just to prove that there is only one solution. We can take t plus two out, and it would be t plus two, three t squared minus six t add eight equals three t cubed minus four t add sixteen, and that doesn't have any real solutions because b squared minus four ac on that bit equals 36 uh, minus 4 times 3 times 8, which is uh, 48, i.e. Um, that was minus 12. And so therefore there's no real solution to that. So the only solution to that is t equals minus 2. Okay, so now that we know uh, that t equals minus 2, all we need to do now is um, put that into our equation for the tangent. Okay, and we know that the tangent from above is ty equals x plus at squared. And so therefore, putting in our value of t, we know that it's minus 2y equals x add. Well, we know the value of a is 3 over 2 times by 4. And all we need to do now, so there is the equation of the tangent. And all we need to do now, the tangent passes through that point q. Well, we know the x-coordinate of the point q because it's the director. So all we need to do is find the y-coordinate. So all we need to do is put x equals minus 3 over 2 in here and we get minus 2y equals minus 3 over 2 add 6 i.e. y equals minus 9 over 4 and so therefore the uh, coordinates of q are minus 3 over 2 minus 9 over 4 and the, and the question only asks for the y coordinate or the ordinate which is minus 9 over 4. Okay so basically these questions here if you know how to get the, uh, um, the equation of the normal and how to get the equation of the tangent, they are relatively simple. Um, and basically, I would work it out from first principles. Well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please uh, like this video by pressing the little thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.